postman just came with the best post ever. People, I got book mail. Hello, hello. Today we are opening some post and I have literally no idea what this is. Okay, so we're just going to cut in it. It's got a tape on it that says Silver Sun Books. However, I really don't know what book this is. I, <laughs> I literally, I do not have a clue. So, this is exciting. I mean, book was always nice and everything, but this is like surprise book mail. I don't have a clue what's in here. So, this, oh, if I can get into it. This is a tough one, people. I, I don't know. We're going to have to, like, oh, rip it apart somehow. I think this one. Oh, oh it's so hard to get into. Oh. oh, wow. It looks like there's multiple stuff in here. Ooh, and goodies. Ooh, this is exciting. This is really exciting. I've got, I've got a lollipop, people. I have a lollipop and oh oh I have a pin as well check that out that's cool okay I think I might know what this is now it's coming back to me okay um, there's a little note in it thank you so much for reading and reviewing my book I really hope you enjoy the story if you do you might like to join my reviewer list to be notified when I have new review copies available you can do that here, josiesjaffery.com. Um, you can also apply for my other current available review copies, digital only, and then it's got her ARCs link. Amazon reviews are always appreciated. If you don't like the book, I'd be really grateful if you could please avoid tagging me in your review on social media. Thank you for taking the time to read and review me. Okay, that actually, I am really quite impressed by that because she gets everything in there. Um, this, this is an author who is doing things right. Like, I like the fact that she said, um, I mean, obviously she's sending out review copies. Okay, so she wants reviews posted um, wherever possible and everything. The fact that she says if you don't like the book, she is fully aware of the fact that not everyone potentially will love her book, okay? And which is something that all authors really need to grasp hold of. No book is for everyone. Um, but I like the fact she's not saying, you know, don't give me a bad review. She's just saying that if it's not a positive review, she would like to not be tagged in it. Now, this is something that has come up in a discussion on like book Twitter and things so many times over. And the idea of tagging an author, I'm never sure. I'm never sure. I kind of like I want to tag them when I do my reviews. Um, at the same time, if you know, you do a search on the keywords anyway. So if you look up, if you do a search on your author name on the book title, then you're probably going to find those tweets anyway, regardless of whether you're tagged in them or not. So if you are an author who's actively looking to see what people are saying about you, then you can totally do that anyway. Um, so I generally don't tag, but I, I like the fact that she's made it clear on here, which is like, because, you know, sometimes authors get upset about being tagged in it, but they haven't actually specified. And there's a lot of confusion about this. Um, so yes, appreciate that little note, which is very exciting. And it's also nice that she's also offered to give me other copies. Ooh, so let's see. Okay, let's, I'm going to start, as soon as I've started with the extra stuff, I'm going to go with the extra stuff. Okay, so we have this little book here which is The Blue Empress, a sovereign short story. Okay, so this is like an additional short story that goes with, I believe, the actual book. So I need to work out, I think this could potentially be a prequel to it. Oh, look, she's signed it as well. Yay, she's got my name spelt correctly, yes. And she's also signed it on there as well. So, yeah, oh, this 
is very exciting. So, um, yeah, there's that, which is nice. And then we have the actual book, which I love this cover. How, how pretty is that? I love all the, the blues toning in there and everything. Oh, and it's got a sticker on it as well. It's a reader's favorite five stars. So that's boding well as well there. So in the blue, the world's last city, all is not well. Okay, Julia is stuck within its walls. She serves the nobility from a distance until she meets Lucas, a boy who believes in fairy tales that Julia's world can't accommodate. The blue is her prison, not her castle, and she can't escape into the trees if she didn't know that contamination and death awaited humanity outside. But not everyone in the blue is human, and not everyone can be contained. Beyond the city's boundaries, in the wild forests of the red, Cameron has precious little humanity left to lose. As he searches for a lost queen, he finds an enemy rising that he thought long dead. An enemy that the humans have forgotten how to fight. One way or another, the walls of the blue are coming down. The only question is, what side you'll be on when they do? That sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is 285 pages. Um, it is book one in the Sovereign series. So, like I said, this is a Sovereign short story. So, um, it's an, a, a companion book for this one, which is nice. So, I'm, yeah, I'm really excited. I think I got I got swag as well here. Check this out. Love a little personal note and a lollipop. I mean, that's just a nice touch, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I am so excited about this book mail this morning because I had totally forgotten about this, like completely forgotten about this. The author, she was on Twitter um, and just like made a comment about the fact that she had some review copies um that she would send out and everything and i was like okay cool i'll uh, i'll check that out because i remember her giving like a bit of a, a synopsis for the book and thinking oh that sounds actually quite cool so um yeah i'm really yay yay book mail this is awesome um also so while we're doing this have you read any books in this series. I'm not sure if the author has other books out as well. Um, if she does, I will look that up. But if she does and you've read them, then please let me know what you thought about them. If you have read this, then please let me know what you thought about that too. And also, while we're on the topic, like the little extras, the little swag that goes into the review pack as well. Um, have you ever got um, swag together with your review copies when you've received them and uh, what was it? Did you get a lollipop and a pin? Did you? Or did you get something completely different that was equally as cool? And also, do you get little notes from the author along with your review copy? Okay, and have you ever had authors mention about whether to tag them or not? in the review posts that you do um, and invite you to review other copies of their books and things as well straight off in the letter that accompanies your review pack. Um, I would love to know your feedback on that as well and see what's happening there. So yay, get down in the comments and let me know how you feel about all this people. Um, anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new uploads. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.